It's not showing slideshow. No. Yeah, same procedure as last time. I can remember <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we are at Microsoft <laughs> now, it should work. No, it's <laughs> Linux now. It's Linux now. Yeah. <laughs> now we moved from AWS to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I'm here to present the to get familiar with all of you for Magento 2. How to create the modules in Magento 2? Like whenever we use Magento, it's a basic functionality is with Magento already. But at some point of time, we have to modify many things and we have to create too many custom modules. So today I'm here to. Just share my knowledge how to create the custom modules in Magento 2. Before that, uh, so the agenda is here is first uh, we can have a quick overview of how we created a module in Magento 1. And after that, I will share how to, what is the difference file structure between the Magento 1 and the Magento 2. And after that, there is a how to create a simple module in Magento 2. It's, uh, it will cover the back end. In the back end, we can modify. In the front end, we can modify. And after that, I will give you a quick demo for this, how to be. So let's just start with the first one. So here, you can see in Magento 1, we have very scattered file structure. Like whenever I have to create any new module, I can I have to write it in community or either in the local. It's the path will be app code community. It's a community module if community is developed it. And if I will develop it locally, then it will be in under local. So in the community, we have different folders like, uh, yeah. yes, sorry. so in community, we have the name of the vendor. It's BLVG under which we have the module name, like uh, which, wa what module represent, like it's uh, here Facebook free. So this is the module name. And uh, under this, we have different subfolders like config, block controllers and different it's MVC. So after this, if I have to define some file which will show in front end, then I have to go again to the design directory. Under design, I have to have some particular levels of directory like a front end, base, default, under layout, and under templates, I have to define. And if I first see, it's in etc folder. In etc, my file where I have to start my module. So this is the basic file, one of the main major file. And if I write, if I need to write the JavaScript or some CSS, then I have to go to the skin folder. So you can see here is a many different folders like app, design, and the skin, and the etc. So these are very scattered. Uh, it will make you problem when we have many large number of modules. Like I have 20 to 30 modules, and I'm searching for some file like uh, where this code is written. Then I have to first go to the uh, code community. Under this, I have to search for the etc file, etc folder in, under in the config file. Under config file, I have to find out where is the layout file written. Then I go to the layout file, and under layout file, I choose, I need to search where is the template file written. Then I have to come back and go to the design folder. In the template, I can find my file. So it's a very long processor in the Magento 1. So now, what is the difference between the Magento 1 and Magento 2 file structure? First, you can see the folder. Like uh, in Magento 1, the folder is app code, including three subfolders like core, community, and local. Core will be the Magento's core folder, core modules. Community will be the developed by the community or the extension provider. And the local will be designed by ourselves. In, the, in Magento 2, you can see only one. It's a app, app code. Or you can see in the vendor directory, create a module name instead of the app code. There is no level of hierarchy like uh, community, core, and uh, local. It's only a one app folder. Under app, you can go to the code. Under code, you have to write your vendor's name. And under vendor name, it will be the same like the module name for which it is. Like we have just uh, saw in the previous slide, it was BLVG here. Under BLVG, it's Facebook free. So here, you only write app code under BLVG and under Facebook free. I will give you the de demo so that you can get more clear. And after that, the module declaration, this is the file.xml, uh, which is in Magento 1. It's under app, etc, and modules. So under app, etc, module, we have different file like ves underscore brand.xml. But when you go to the Magento 2, it's a module.xml. 
and uh, after that the layout and the template files are saved in different folder like which i saw said like app design front end admin html if it is uh so in here in magento 2.0 it's uh, layout and the template files are saved in new folder which is view under view each folder modules so everything is under same module in magento 2 after that the skin if i have to write js and css i need to go to the skin and under skin we have different folder for js and css but in magento 2.0 we have this also in the same folder in the codes so the path will be the vendor's name module name under view in the front end admin html web css for css and js for js so this is the basic difference of the file structure and after that mm, yeah so this is the file structure for magento 2 here you can see app code this is my company's name and extension is the module name and in magento 1 it was app code and under code we have three different folder like core community and local here only one folder it's vendor name you can create many modules under vendor name so what these are i can show you the blocks it's a storage file that ensure interaction between the patterns it's a, like a php file which we show on the front end which is help us to show the content in the front end and after this this is a controller here you can just see that this is the capital c controller here in magento 1.0 we have a small c small c controller and capital c both but here if you write any controller it will be in capital c controller under controller its file structure is different as in magento 1.0 we have controller folder small c with a small c and uh, in controller folder we have a controller file and under controller we have different actions but in magento 2.0 you will see a controller folder under controller folder there will be another folder for controller name like uh, i have a hello world controller then hello world hello is a controller's folder name again and i have to define an action it will be world word folder actually i can sh see sh uh, show you the demo you can and in etc we have a configuration file which is same like in the magento 1.0 in etc uh, in magento 1.0 we have config files and uh, system.xml and admin html.xml but in magento 2.0 it's it will cover the module.xml you can see and in the helper it contains the same basic feature of the php helper help us to redefine any some piece of code which we can use in controller blocks anything in the model it contains the response for the connection between the database like it will execute it will get the data or load the data from the database and after that the setup script it's a same creating table modifying table updating tables in the view here is a view view folder which contains the front end show like it's P, it will contain the phtml files front end and the back end files which we defined in the design folder it's now in here, here view so here we can start like uh, how to create a custom module in magento 2.0 so first like uh, here i am explaining you is renosis is my company's name and the custom is my module custom module so here you can see this is a piece of code which is predefined it is written in magento like uh, magento framework module etc module.xsd you can go and see the code here and after this this is the piece of the code which we have to return to define our module its module name which is it this module.xml is work same as uh, our file in under etc like module name under uh, company name underscore module name.xml where we define our module name and now in here in magento 2.0 we have to define in module.xml so it is a version also 1.0.1 which is used to create or update the setup scripts after this i have to create one more file here which is registration.php to register my module otherwise the my module will not work if i will not define here so this is the name actually my module name this is the same piece of code which we have to write in register.php just uh, yeah. and after that its roots we have to define the roots in uh, magento 1.0 we define the roots in the config.xml for the front end and for the back end but in magento 2.0 it's uh, root.xml under app uh, etc folder and roots.xml so here you can see the root id standard 
in magento 1.0 it's same it's uh, it's standard for the front end admin for the admin back end and cms for the cms and the one is a default these four types of routes routers we have so in root id it's a uh, custom root id and the root name we generally prefer in magento 2 it will be same like my module name and the in, under this the module name which we have to define renosis underscore custom so this this file is basically for routing access like uh, in the url we have to define this after this uh, when you go to the controller which i just said like uh, you have to create the controller name as uh, you have to create a link like custom index and index so for this first you have to go to this folder like uh, renosis underscore controller capital c with capital c again and under this the index index is my controller controller's name and under controller there will be a file index.php which is my actions name so here if you have five action for one controller you have to create five files different files so in magento 1.0 you can define all actions in one controller so here is the index name of the controller folder and the index name of the action file which is index.php after this uh, we have to define the layout file which is uh, layout file will be the xml file in which we define the blocks and the html file path which is same as the magento 2.0 the coding is same under this file but the file location is now changed it will be under views view and the front end layout it's the same structure but under same directory you can see app code renosis and custom on the custom you have to create the view folder so block class is like this in this magento 2.0 in the previous one 1.0 we just write renosis underscore custom underscore block underscore hello world but here it's uh, hash, uh, slash separated now the name it will be the name of the block which you can give and you can call by this name in the html file this is the template template name this is the format is changed here differently like you have to specify your vendor's name and module name colon double colon and then it's the name of the html file which we are going to define in templates after this uh, let's create a block for our module so this is the block file it's the same as the magento 1.0 the coding is same but the def defining method of the class is different here you can see here in magento 1.0 we have to define like uh, renosis underscore custom underscore block underscore custom but in magento 2.0 you have to use a namespace like renosis custom block and under block which file it is it's a custom.php so the class name will only be the custom which is extending the different different files here in magento 2.0 and after that it's my html file here i wrote uh, welcome to magento we have to show on front end on the home page so steps to create a custom module so here activate active your module extension so you can directly by writing here the to activate the module this is a different feature actually this is a different way in this you have to go to the config.xml and add your renosis underscore custom one value to activate this module and after this module you will not even able to see in the admin until unless you will run this command the magento setup upgrade after you run this command you can see your module name will be here in the last or in the end you can see and after that your module will show in the back end otherwise it will not show so here we can i can show you the quick demo So is my Magento 2 uh, under app code. I just wrote the Renosis, my folder name, my company's name, and uh, it's my module name. Under uh, you can see the block controller etc folder model view, which I just talked. View is containing the layout file and the PHTML files, and the registration dot PHP is a necessary file to register my module in Magento 2. So here you can see. the acls you have to define the acl if you are going to work in the with the system configurations in magento backend if you want to add the new fields here is the module 
module.xml to define my module. It's uh, front end. Here you can you have to show you know, specify the routers. And on the admin HTML, it's system.xml. So it's a folder difference here. Like uh, in Magento 1.0, we have on the etc we have all the files admin HTML, system.xml, and uh, config.xml. But here, if we need to define the routes routes file here, and system.xml will be defined in admin HTML. So it's here. Uh, yeah, it's uh, like I have to run the controller name. Like uh, my URL will be. I can just show you. My URL will be this Renosis Hello World. So here, the Renosis is my front end name, front name which I need to define in the routers, and uh, Hello is the controller's name, and World is the action name. So you can see the structure here. Like in the controllers cap with capital C, you can go hello, you can go world. So this is the structure. If I need to define uh, five to six con five to six action, then I need to define different files here. So under world, I can show you. Yeah, you can you can also see now the structure or writing the code is now different in Magento two. Here you have to define the namespace in the first line in every block, model, controllers. Yeah, you can see the Rhinosis, custom, controller, and hello. The till the controller's name, you have to write the path. And after this, the class will be my action name only, world, which is just extending the same Magento framework app action action. So here yeah, it's uh, the coding under the function is same like. In controllers, there will be a default action name is execute, which will execute whenever you hit the um, you hit the URL, you hit the controllers URL. In Magento 1.0, it was index index action was a default one, but in Magento 2, it's execute function, which will execute automatically. So you have to write everything on execute. That's why they have different action files. In each action, you have an execute. Otherwise, in Magento 1.0, we have an action name, different action name in one controller file, and through action name we can access the URL. But here, we, for action name, we have different files. Under different files, we have execute function, which will automatically execute. It does the way is little bit same and little bit different. You can say there we use dollar this load layout, dollar this render layout. But in Magento 2.0, you have to use dollar this underscore view load layout and render layout. So this is the basic file structure you can see. So everything I have is under one folder. I don't have to go anywhere else. Like I have designed some custom module. I can see every files from front end, back end, JS, CSS, everything will be in under this folder. So it's uh, very easy to manageable. I can show you also like uh, I have developed this module already. Like it's uh, my custom configuration when I select here. I have created a configuration system configuration module. You can change. It's a bit slow. So till then we can see the front end part. Like uh, it's my home page. You can see it's uh, it's a home page which don't have any customization part. So whenever we create front end module. We have to show the message here. Like uh, instead of the home page, I want to change my message. So I created that module, and uh, under this is the company name, front name, front end name, and uh, hello is a controller name, and world is the action name. So when I hit this, you can see the message change. So I just show you from where this message comes. It's under template custom dot html. Yeah, it's here. Welcome to Magento 2. So this message is come from PHTML. I call this PHTML under controllers through the blocks. In block, we have defined the layouts and different things. So this is the custom module here. You can show anything like uh, for the front end part and for the back end part. I have to log in again. So front end part was defined in the roots.xml to access the URL. 
in the backend part for the configuration part we have to define same in the same file like system.xml here the backend they have also modified very much so here you can see renosys customization configuration yeah here you can see all types of like it's drop down type it's text type text area type you can upload any any file or any choose any file any so the code is yeah you can select any file from the desktop it will be loaded so yeah this is the this is the demo so any queries or any questions i can ask so for every every uh, action you have to create different file yeah for different file because they have created an execute execute function only execute yeah only execute method and that like hello world yeah have you see something message no no actually the file structure is just like that you have to create a file for the action Yeah, for every action under the controllers folder, you have to define a file. So within a single module, if I need ten function, it will be ten different files. Yeah, it will be ten different files because it's uh, execution is the main method they can automatically call, and it's. Uh, it's way changed from what one. Yeah, it's way changed, but it's now very manageable. Like everything, it's in the same place. You can find everything, and also, yeah, the. Also, it's a very light weighted than the Magento 1.0. Like in Magento 1.0, whenever we define different modules, it will get all the configurations dot XML, config dot XML, and create a one single XML file. So every time it will load. Like I have 20, then it will access the, all the 20 files, create it in one files, and then load. That's why it's taking time, more time. But in Magento 2.0, it's every module is there on separate files. Whenever you hit that module, then only it will load. And dependent module, we can say dependent. Yeah, that's that's why they have created one module like uh, in one folder. Whenever you access Renosys, it will call all the file of the Renosys only. Like, but in the Magento 1.0, we have scattered every file is scattered, so they have to combine all the configuration dot XML in the same big file. In that file, they can have the linking of the files actually. But in Magento 2.0, you can see the different all the files are in the same place. So whenever you hit Renosys, you only load the Renosys files. That's why it's uh, faster actually. I think okay thank you